Welcome all. In this video, we are going to look into few of the basics related to low and high pressure closure tests for valves. Okay, we we'll look into what are low and high pressure pressure tests, then purpose of volumetric device, how bubble and drop counts are uh, visualized in uh, any kind of test, what they indicate and how we get the results based on the bubble and drop counts. Applied pressure, whether we have to apply a pressure on downstream or upstream of the valve, in which valve we have to apply on which side, few things we'll discuss about that. So we are going to look into all the basics related to low and high pressure closure tests. So let's start with the video. Here, uh, what we are going to discuss is uh, low and high pressure closure tests. Okay, any leakage at seat ceiling surface behind the seat ring or through the disc on open side of the valve shall be detected when bubbles are observed. Okay, now this is how we are doing the low and high pressure test. Okay, the valve is closed on one side and open it on other side. This will be connected to some volumetric device where we can get the uh, bubbling or uh, drop drops to sense the leakage so pressure shall be applied successively to each side of the closed valve so first we'll close it and we'll check through this then we'll close this and we'll check through this okay for valve designed to close against pressure from one side only so mark the pressure shall be applied on pressure side of the valve only so this is close we'll pre pressurize from this side and any leakage which will be there at sitting arrangement shall be checked through other side for a check well the pressure shall be applied on downstream side so whichever side we want to uh, prevent the backflow from that side we have to provide the pressure high pressure closure test the procedure for high pressure closure test is same as we have done for low pressure closure test except that in case of liquid test leakage shall be detected when drops not bubbles so this is the basic difference when we are talking about the low pressure uh, closure test we calculate the number of bubbles which are uh, coming out through this volumetric device in high pressure instead of bubbles we go for uh, detecting the drops okay so this is how this low and high pressure closure tests are performed and all these terms and conditions uh, all the requirements are given in api 598 for which well we have to perform this test and for what pressure for what duration everything is mentioned in table number one two three and four so this is how we are performing these low and high pressure test so thank you for watching. See you in the next part.